Pendleton under a lot of pressure. Got to get rid of it. He was about to take a 20-yard sack if he didn't get rid of it. And it'll be fourth down and seven. He winds up, and there's Mack. They, they're 30 yards behind the line of scrimmage. Well, Tettleton knew that he was still in the pocket area. In fact, I think he never quite got out of it, and that's why he didn't throw it sooner. Number four, the ball not make it to the line of scrimmage. Safety. Yep, intentional grounding in the end zone. Mm. Man, that's a, a tough break there for Frank Soldier's football team and give the credit to the pressure from Mac and the Buffalo defense. Now, Tettleton, he, he sees what's happening and he wants to throw it away, but he knows he can't get enough on it and, and he's still Wait a minute. in the pocket early. But I don't think he was in the end zone when he threw that. Oh my gosh, he's three yards outside the end zone. Yeah, they, they're going to have to look at that one because that, that didn't look to me like he threw that out of the end zone. That was not a penalty in the end zone. He was out in the field to play. Frank's got eyes upstairs. In fact, he just got told, I believe, by an assistant, hey, if they don't review this, you need to challenge it, Frank, because he was not in the end zone when he threw that ball. Now, uh -huh. I get the whole line of scrimmage thing. That, that, that's sure. I'm sure that's the correct call. Just because he lands in the end zone. No, that, that throw oh. was uh, out on the three-yard line. And Frank Solich has eyes upstairs, guys that are looking at that for him. And, and they told him right away. And, Frank's gonna, if the officials themselves don't figure it out, uh, Frank has a challenge, and he, he will be able to challenge this. Our crew is on the phone with the replay booth, and Gary Bram, about whether, you know, to make sure that this is, can be looked at. At the moment, the ruling on the field is a safety by the penalty of intentional grounding. We have shown by our video that it is, he was, still not in the end zone when the pass was thrown. Yeah, th this is reviewable. They, they, they can look at this and, and make the proper call. And he, he was at the four-yard line, actually, when he let that ball go. However, the referee is not wearing a headset right now. He has not been called over to have a conversation with the replay booth. I believe it's a matter of time, and, and here he goes. Correct, sir. Yeah, they're going to get this right. This They have to get this right, because this is two points and the ball if this call stands and now the official he just did not announce that the play is under further review but yeah. it is obviously Tom McCabe is on the horn now with, with Gary Bram our replay official they're gonna discuss it and, and they're gonna uh, they're gonna change the ruling you have to I mean it's, it's obvious he's at the four yard line when he lets that thing go now I can see McCabe he's backpedaling as fast as he probably has in quite a while to get out of harm's way and he probably didn't realize where that ball was thrown because he was so intent on, on saving his own skin getting out of the way there. The penalty will not be overturned. No. That was the, that the, part the of it was points correct. Will not uh, not be awarded to Buffalo, nor nor the kick. Tom. kind of just wandering around the middle of the field over there. Well, all right, a couple things. There was never an announcement made. Here we go. The spot of the foul cannot be challenged. The play was ruled a safety. Oh, okay. Well, that, that needs to be changed. That's, yeah, um, that's not right. Apologies for those of you who just read Frank Solich's lips, but he has a reason to be angry about that. Uh, you, it's not a challengeable, so that, that's that's why there was never a challenge. It's why the booth never buzzed down. They're playing it by the book. Right. The book might not be right, but that